presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to good let morning. you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. This, I love this card. Whatever life takes away from you. Well, we don't like when things life takes away from us, but the bottom line, listen to it up. Let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 233, NASDAQ off 78, S&P's down 26. Gold, gold contract down $45, trading it, uh, that's another leg down, 24.04. Silver down uh, 99 cents, 31 dollars, eight cents an ounce. Copper, look at this, down 28 cents, 400, yeah, four four dollars 87 cents a pound. And that is a $7,500 move in the copper market, folks, and you're only putting up like 5,200. So there's, there's some damage out here today, that's for sure. Well, it's been going up dramatically anyway. Not anyway, but bottom line, yeah, we get a pullback. Oil, oil down at buck thirty-three, seventy-seven dollars thirty-four cents. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note down five ticks, trading one hundred nine hundred two. Thirty-year flat at one seventeen eleven. And King Dollar, King Dollar's the culprit out here. Well, you had the the minutes, then King Dollar's trying to break into its larger range right now, and we're right at it. By the way, you have two hundred eighty-four ticks, one hundred four nine forty-five euro, one hundred eight. Yen, 156 British pound, one twenty-seven to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at. So let's do this. We're gonna go into the futures first because we had action again. Okay, so let's take a look at it. We go into the S and P's. Bring this back. Okay, so what we did. There it is right there. Okay, cool. So the S&Ps right now, that load is not a high volume low right here, okay? The last time that we had volume on the way down was the bar at uh, 2 o'clock. That's right when they came out. 52.13. So that was the number there. We're at 53.19. Now, the way that you look at this, okay, if you're day trading it, is that you do one second here. Let's go like this. We'll take the top to the bottom and first see where we're at. Okay, so we just, we're approaching the point three eight two, And what you're doing here, let's see. Okay, so we just did a 10 minute bar. Yeah, this has no strength, man. You just, we just did uh, 23,000 contracts versus 49,000 contracts versus uh, 70,000. That's, so with that saying said, we're still gonna have weakness coming into the close. NQs, we look at the NQs. We'll do the same type of exercise. Pull this back. Same type of setup, too. Let's see what this is. So from the highs to the lows. Okay, it's not the... If you're going to sell it, wait for the point three eight two. That's 18743. It's only 10 points higher than we are right now. Bottom line is that the last time that we had volume on the way down was at uh, 18,703. And we hit 684. That being said, same type of setup. 
Because now what's going on is you, you're going against these bars that are monsters, man. So you're going to have, have to have someone come in with conviction in order to uh, bottom line, get to higher price. So right now, this thing still does want lower price. And now let's go to the dollar because the dollar, the dollar didn't start this thing. It looks like the, the Fed minutes started it. They start selling off, okay? And the Fed minutes were, they were, um, they were hawkish. There's no doubt about that, that, you know. That being said, if you heard what I said during the update there, you know, I think the probability of going up on rates is almost nil. Nothing is ever nil, okay? Look at this. That's the dollar. So if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see you're right at the line, man. You know, so we'll see what's going to bust into it again. Bust into it again, and you're finally going to get a correction. Gold. We take a look at the gold market. HGA. Oh, no, no. That's silver. GCA. There we go. Okay, so you're down 43 bucks. Oh, I see we're rolling too. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the GLD. That's that's. So we're rolling contracts in the gold market right now too. And the GLD is 6.2 million shares. You're coming into 9.2. Okay, it's not bad. This is a correction. Yeah, so you're coming into 9.2. And then we go to the 10-year. We take a look at the 10-year. What we have with the 10-year out here. Okay, so the 10-year right now, down five ticks. You've done 1.8 million contracts. That's light contract volume for a pullback because we did on the way up. We're talking 2.8 and, well, 2.7, 2.8. That's what we're going into. So it's going to be hard to break this down. We got to 108.28. And, uh, hey, Al, this is saying no charts. Let me, let me see here, man. Okay, what, let's see. Tiger TV, where are you? How did that work? Tiger TV. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. And let's hope that that was bingo. And bingo was his name. Now, do you got him up? There we go. Bingo was his name. I like it. Okay, so now let's go to NVIDIA because bottom line is that NVIDIA is going to move the market. Let's take a look. I want to see the, uh, what they're also saying here on I forget whether NVIDIA comes out right afterwards. Well, it says after the market. I don't know if they're as quick as uh, Google is, uh, uh, but the bottom line is that, you know, we haven't hit the highs. You get 33 million shares traded. This is gonna be wild watching this thing, man. Now, the, the problem with NVIDIA is that you get a high volume low at 756. 756. And we're at 940. So, you know, well, that's the last time that it came down. And the gap is not filled, so that could be a problem. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made it so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off 220. You got the NASDAQ off 81. S&Ps are down 27. We take a look at, uh, well, yeah, let's go to the silver market first because we're we getting a pullback in all of these. And you get volume on this pullback, by the way, folks. So let's take a look at this. You got silver. Well, uh, yeah, let me correct that. You have volume coming out of the equities. You don't have it coming out of the physical. Okay. So silver's back a buck, 98 cents. But yeah, this is this is good. 87 million. No, yeah, 87 million versus uh, 133. More than likely, though, what you're going to see here is that you're going to pull back to the breakout area. Like that would be 29.70. Right now, you're at 31. We go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. Okay, so you got 23 million shares traded. We made a high with 24 million. Yeah, this is going to be a couple day pullback here, man. This is game to 34.59. Right now you're at 35. Because you do have an expansion of volume. We get 25 million shares traded right now. The some of the higher volume equities out here. Let's take a look at Tel Tesla's number one. That were anyway. Oh, look at that. I just pulled up. What did I just? This is interesting. This happens sometimes. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so I just pulled up every gold stock there is. Let me change that to the S&P. There we go. Okay, so, no oh man, look at this. Why is that happening? SPX. There we go. Okay, so you get Tesla down $7, uh, $7 NVIDIA's off 15 Google's off 2 First Solar is up 37 Look at that. Whoa, baby. First Solar breaks out. Okay, we're going to get... Uh, we get Starbucks up three. Let's go hit first solo and see what's going on here. 
Look at this. This is amazing, actually. So the low for the year is 129. The high is 253. That's today. Holy cow. What? <laughs> Whatever's going on here is a whole different ballgame, man. Wow. Yeah. So... Is this just, it almost looks like this is just buying that they're saying could surge by, when are they coming out with numbers? Are they coming out with numbers to, no, 726. <sighs> Pretty wild, man. That That is a run extraordinaire. But there's no doubt that, you know, all, all these alternative energies, well, well, let's put it this way, alternative energies that are going to give you something, that's where we're going. There's no two ways about that. You know what I mean? So... Uh, with the subsidies that uh, are coming along and with the tariffs that are getting laid off and, on um, goods coming in, I can see why that's running like it's running. There's no two ways about that. We go take a look at, uh, let me go over to NVIDIA again. NVIDIA is really hard to call. It's not that it's hard to call, folks. It's that that, that high volume low, my, my take, I'm going to go with the high volume low. That's the real bottom line. Um, and, yeah, see right there, and then you have, you have two different things here. You have, you have a gap that's opened at 688. You have a high volume low at 756. Now, that sounds like, oh, my God. Now, what's also happened here, we get a high volume high at 974. So it's like, okay, what do you go with, man? It hasn't, I was hoping what it would happen with NVIDIA is that, it would go to the high first and at least release that information for us. So when you look at something like this, I would not shot NVIDIA, that's for sure. I would shot the NDX 100, you know. You know, so, but that's just my personal opinion for, for this deal. Because of the fact, you might be able to work your way out of it if, if NVIDIA does go up 100 bucks. Because there's going to be a $100 move here, one way or the other. But that thing is sticking out. Let's see if we did this on a weekly. What else is sticking out? So the same deal is happening there. That's sticking out. That has 263 million. The high at 346, which is still good. Hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out. ELF. Let's see what's ELF. Uh, ELF. What is ELF? Okay, so ELF Beauty operates a cosmetic company. Products such as lip liners, creams, brushes. The low is eighty-three dollars. The high is two twenty-one. They are going to be. They're going to be looking to take in two hundred ninety-two million. And 33 cents to the bottom line. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, I think this is lower, man. Yeah. This looks to me like it's lower. Let me see what they sell again. So, skincare products. Yeah, there's a lot of money in skincare products. You know, Bridget and I actually own an Aveda salon. Um, so I do know quite a bit about it. So what happens is this, is that, uh, hey, this just looks to me like a lower price is coming at you, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Because what you have is that the, uh, if the, when, when you look at Alta, U-L-T-A, the difference is when, and, and this gets interesting too in the context of um, the amount of money that is spent in general. You know, you get Ultra trading 378. It had a high of 574. This, this has come back into... Uh, support basically 
And this is how Ulta trades, though, also. That's, that's the bottom line. This thing is an, an, an animal. Well, my point was is this, is that what happens is that the, the amount of money that, that folks actually spend, that women actually spend on their hair, the, the shampoo part of it and the products to take care of your hair, that you can push a lot of that out because the bottom line, let's picture you, you're spending $300 on a color job, right? Well, the bottom line is if you don't right, use the right shampoo, what ends up happening is that that color job is not going to last as long as it normally lasts if you use the right product on your hair. So what ends up happening is that when you're selling product like that, you can, you know, you're going to sell more product. That's not because so they can save money on not on the $300 they spent on the color. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 248. Nasdaq's up 70. S&P's down 26. Let's go inside the Dow because the Dow was showing, you know, it had a bearish engulfing.
No, it didn't. No, but I see what happened here. Okay, so the Dow, well, first off, let's look and see what's moving this. Okay, so inside the Dow, you get Goldman putting 63 negative pounds, Home Depot 44, Caterpillar 27, putting positive points, Johnson & Johnson 12, Boeing 8. Let's get over and look at Home Depot. Just curious. You got Home Depot down six, six and a half bucks. Yeah, this is going after its swing low. This, that 326, yeah, 326. Right now you're at 329. And we go, I'm gonna go to the diamonds for a second just to see how this volume is doing. So 1.5 million, you hit a high with 2.8. It's light volume, man. It failed at the highs. That's, that's the bottom line, but this is still light volume on the way down, man. NVIDIA's gonna be the number, man. You get the NDX either 100, up 100 points or down 100 points. And, well, well, look what just happened here, man. Oh, my God. you got to love this pocket. Okay, NQs. Well, look at this. Look at this. So something... Well, let's go to the NDX, and I'll see what popped it first. One second. Hold on. So inside the NDX, Modern is putting... Third, that's up 13%. Analog is up 9%. On Semi's up 4 Those are good numbers, man. Lululemon's down 8%. Tesla's down three and a half. PayPal's down three. Okay, so now let's go to the NQs. Because we just popped like 60 points. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. You got to love this market, man. I mean, just, just take a look at this. I don't know how this... So we just popped... Yeah, we pop. We actually well, only 43 points. This bar is 43 points. Now, it's 43 points. You're two minutes in. This is the, uh, this, this, man. These machines can do some numbers, man. That's the real bottom line. Because now you get, now, you know it gets intriguing here? Most of the, oh, I see, no, that, that comes in threes. So watch this. These bars love coming in threes. We, get, we had a big bar off the low. You got a second big bar 10 minutes ago, and now it's the third big bar. So we'll see if that's going to be enough. Now, now, they're definitely going against the other bars with tremendously lighter volume. But this is what volatility is all about, man. Because we are going to see a 100 or 200 move when this thing comes out. I just can't, I just can't picture a straight line, I mean, a, you know, a dud. Let's put it this way. And NVIDIA, this is what they're looking for. Now, this is where this gets wild. So if we look at the, the f aspect of the acceleration, right? Year over year, yeah, it's a monster. But we know that NVIDIA, like the first quarter of last year, they did 7.2 billion, okay? After that, next quarter, they did 13.5. That's 5 billion more, right? Next quarter, they did 18.8, .8, 5 billion more. Next quarter, 22, 4 billion more. Now check this out. They're only looking not only, okay, but when you go year over year, yes, it's huge, okay, because it's 24 billion, 24.7 versus seven. But not by quarter by quarter for where we're trading. That's where this is gonna be the first quarter that we're only, well, they think they're going up 10%. What had happened on the last quarter, the fourth quarter, okay, is the same thing. This number here, the third quarter was 18 billion. They end up doing 22, but before it actually came out, that number there was only 20. So they had done over 2 billion more than the market was looking for. So the real kicker here is going to be what do they do in correlation to the 24 and the correlation of the 22.1? That's what it actually comes down to, okay? That's how that's going to shake out. Now, the, one of the numbers that gets really interesting is this, not the number, is that the 
the chips themselves, they're going from the hopper to the Blackwell. Now, the, the Blackwell is twice the computing power of the hopper, and they made all the money on the hopper. The Blackwell's not out yet. But what you did see yesterday is that Amazon was saying that, okay, we're not buying any more hoppers. We're transitioning to the Blackwell because it's double the computing power, and they got in line. Now, the real question is, when we say they got in line, well, does that mean we're already into May? So we're already two months into the next quarter. So did they do that? And this quarter that we won't see until next three, month, uh, three months from now, or did they do that in the prior quarter, and that could affect the sales that are going to be done? Because if you're a big dog, right, and you know that you're going to have twice the computing power, you're going to wait if you can. That's, that's, where, that's where this thing shakes out. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, ES. Let's go look at the ES, too. It's going to be the same setup, I believe. A little weaker, but same setup. Same setup. 5306. We just did 20, 20 points off the low. The way this is, we haven't we haven't seen moves like this though in a long time. You know, you, you know the yeah, forty point moves in the NQ and twenty five move. I mean twenty point moves, and the S and P. You know when volatility comes in, that's that's what you get. There's no two ways about that. Let's go to an Eco Eagle AEM. That's down two twenty five, and if you are in, you know the this gold market, get these stops in, man. You know, if you get the gold report, you know that I, I upped every stop uh, yesterday right to almost the highs uh, because this thing is getting frothy. So if you take a look at this, you got an Eco Eagle. That's coming off the high, 1.7 million. Volume's not bad. Volume's not bad on this one. And you get support. See, the support's not until 65, and you're at 67.86. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries down 237. NASDAQ's up 57. S&P's down 23. Let's go to our man, uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Hey, good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? You're getting over that cold, right? I know. I I think it's getting better. <laughs> no, it it is getting it is getting better. I I sound kind of weird, but I feel a lot better. I can tell you that. <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, you feel better than yesterday or the day before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I I've been, I I've been in this for a while, Qualcomm, um, and I know they have their uh, niche is uh, the chip in in mobile phones. Do you think we have to change our phones to AI in the future? All phones and what, what do you think about that? So you Qualcomm, the lows one hundred and one, the highs two hundred and four. That's today. And now check this out, man. This is really cool. So Qualcomm, right? Well, here let, let's let's. Well, to answer your question, what's happening, John and folks, is this is that on June 12th, okay, I went down this rabbit hole yesterday. This is so cool that you're calling about this. Um, on June 12th, Microsoft is coming out with a whole new operating system. And wow. they're going to be using Qualcomm chips. And oh. so check this out, folks. Okay, this is pretty cool. So HP will have it. Dell's going to have it. Probably all the rest of them are going to have it, too. Um, and what this is about is that we know that AI is up in the cloud. Well, what Microsoft has done is that they're bringing AI right into these computers. So there's a certain, and in fact, we can get Jacob on in the morning. He'll, he knows a lot more about this than, than me, even though I gave him the article. Because um, the, the difference is because he, he understands the infrastructure of these things. So yeah. what... What the Microsoft computers are going to be able to do, uh, the operating systems, let's put it that way, because these are going to be in the HPs, they're going to be in the Dells, they're going to be in all of them, is that there's going to be so many things you can actually do without going to the cloud on your PC. And they're going to be used. The wow. reason you can do it is they are going to be Qualcomm chips. So it's like, oh. yeah, I know. And as soon as I heard this, I said, this is amazing, because Qualcomm, you know, folks, owns the the mobile market. It's real possible they're going to own the PC market, too. You know, so like... Wow. That's the, why they're all-time high. They're an all-time all high. high. Yep. And, you know, they, yeah, yeah. they... Realistically, John, yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if they get a little more volume up here, but on a longer basis, that is a big deal. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yes. of the fact that we know chips are everything and they have been a long time but now you're talking about a whole revolution <laughs> so yeah. you know if if Qualcomm is going to be in every AI personal computer so that you can do the calculations inside the personal computer before it would go up to the cloud well that's going to be a big deal man so and my understanding yeah. is what the article was saying is that the the battery life 
of these is much longer than the normal battery life that we're used to on our regular PCs right now. You know, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, having you said that, uh, thanks for that uh, bit of information. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is, technically, I want to add more to my position. Is is it the volume is light? You said. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't I mean, add it. I wouldn't add it right now. I think Qualcomm's going to pull back. Yeah. And if, okay. if, if we okay. put this in a weekly, so watch what happens here. And I wouldn't sell it. <laughs> That's the other. I put a stop in it, okay? And try. I mean, it, because what does happen? Like one of the tigers are saying, when this goes down, when this goes south, it can go south pretty good. I mean, the last pullback that was that was established out here in January went right from what 193 all the way down to you know 111. Do you know what I'm saying? So you could yeah. tight, you could tighten the stop up. You know, if we put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that. The high that it's taken out right now was up there for about 10 weeks, you know, then, then it gave it up in spades, right? And in this particular case, what had happened is that we went into the high with volume, which was great, but then it died on the vine, you know? Like we did 39 million last week versus 53, oh no, versus 94. So, you know... Oh no, I'm not. I'm not selling my my other position. I have it for a long time, but it all hinges on Nvidia today. You know the retracements. We'll see what happens. It, it does, and because because what happens, yeah. folks, is that regardless of this is of whether the equities themselves depend on AI, where Nvidia goes today, the market's going to go. You know, on a short term basis, yeah. but that's what's going to happen because. Yeah. You know, yeah. number one, it's such a high price stock. So, you know, the, the option market is saying, okay, we, they're, they're looking for optionality of a 8% move. Either way, when we say that, it's either way, folks. It's up or down. You know, so it's like an $80 to $100 move. Now, right. that, that will move the NDX. That's going to move the rest of the equities. That's going to move the S&P, you know, so... It really, it really uh, drives all the chip sector, you it, know, NVIDIA. It, it so. does. It does. The cool, th yeah. the cool thing is here, as soon as I saw that, you know, I'm saying, wow, man. I mean, you know, you can buy a nice HP. It's going to be interesting to see what these cost. But, I mean, you know, PCs now, I mean, they're only like six or $700. So if you can get it, let's picture this. We even go to HP or a couple of these other companies. I think there's a lot of people that will upgrade, like, I upgrade my phone, but I haven't upgraded my PC for years. I mean, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, but I'll upgrade it yeah. if, in fact, there's that cut much firepower, and you're only talking about six or seven hundred bucks, right? It's like, are you kidding? Right, right. Yeah. But let me ask you about the big players like Apple. Do they have anything to do with Qualcomm or no? Well, that they made the the article that I was reading. They were saying that the Apple chip that is inside the Mac, okay, is the equivalent. They, they were saying that right now the, the chip that's inside the Mac is a better chip that's inside all of these PCs. And this is going to be where the, the Qualcomm chip is going to catch up with the Mac because ev evidently the Macs have got really great. That's, that's yeah, 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 you know, so. Well, thanks for the info. That's that helps a lot. Thanks. Okay, man. You have a great one and a safe one. And we're all going to be. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah, we're all waiting for Nvidia. This is so funny because, you know, most of the time, folks. Okay, the, this will this will be a trip. It seems that you know, like we always wait for the Fed, and we're always waiting for something. It's wild. Many, not many times, but. We wait, and then all of a sudden it's a flat market. <laughs> that would be wild. Oh, okay. Thanks, Z. Okay, so so the Nvidia is not coming out to 420. 420. Okay, and they're looking for yeah five dollars and fifty five cents to the bottom line, twenty four point one seven billion to the top line. What a trip, man! Could you imagine ninety days bringing in twenty four billion dollars? Billion with the B. Yeah, wild, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. And then they goosed it. So that goose right there, folks, that goose and the futures was a big fun selling. They tried, they, they, they ramped it up. 
they, they ramp the spike up, you sell it, bang, and then it's low. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 268. Nasdaq's up 78. S&P's down 28. Okay, let's do it. Let's get to the spy. Let's get to the cues. Let's see what we can figure out here, man. So, 31 million shares. That's, that's, that's light volume, man. It's the bottom line on the spy. So, that pullback doesn't say anything. Meaning, it's just a light pullback. The cues. Now, the difference with the cues here is that you're going to see a monster acceleration on volume. Well, that's at 420, too. So that's going to be different. But you only get 20 million. Now, this is what the difference is. With the Qs, we actually hit a higher high. <laughs> so that, it's not a failure in price and volume because you'd have to, you know, basically come down to, what, 449. And we're just six points over that. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. We go. Now let's go to NVIDIA. That's what we're going to have to do. Let's see what good old NVIDIA. There's going to be people that are in the marketplace that don't even know what NVIDIA is, and they're going to know the name. So NVIDIA, the load today is 932. They're buying it into the close, man. They're making their bets. Here we go. It's only down 4 bucks right now. The spike yesterday got to 960. I think, is it 9? It's 9... 84, that's the high. One second. 974. Okay, 974 is the high. Well, 
So you know what we could have here, man? This is what we can have. This is wild. So we could have a spike when it comes out to hit the high, 974, and then give it up in spades and actually go down to 756. Because what's happening here now is that we, we have an expansion of volume on NVIDIA. Not a lot, but we have. But it rejected 932. And so we know when numbers come out, I mean, they go all over the place. And guess what? We're going to know in 24 minutes. <laughs> always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy and Jacob tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. <laughs>